Hi, uh, my name is Nick Thomason, and I taught Totus to us in 2015 in the Diocese of Peoria. I've always wanted to be a missionary for Christ. It's always been something that's been on my heart. And uh, I actually worked at a summer camp. I remember just thinking that there was something missing, and it was Christ. Uh, and we didn't really get to talk to the kids about religion. And I remember asking God, like, man, why, you know, why couldn't there be a camp that I could talk about you with, with the kids? And, uh, and lo and behold, the next school year, I come across Totus Tuus. And uh, there it is, it's a perfect program. And I think it's the kids' energy. And just like the thrill of being out there and knowing that you know, you're not doing this for yourself, you're doing it for Jesus. It's just something, it's so liberating to know that you've given your entire summer away for Him. The kids, they get so excited and you can see that they're, they're genuinely happy to be there. And you get to be the one that actually brings God's joy to them. Like, it's so humbling that God would use, that God would use me to bring His joy to His children. And then, the aspect that had the most impact on me has got to be Mary in devotion. Uh, it has to be Mary devotion. Uh, it's just been one of the most genuine summers I've ever had. One of the most intense but amazing summers ever in my entire life. I would venture to say this is the best summer of my entire life. It's so much fun. I mean, especially when you get to um, do Toast to a Theater, you get to just like unleash. You're like in a whole nother world and you become this character. It's like, it's like an out-of-body experience, you know? Like, the kids just, their eyes, you can see it in their eyes and like, ah, oh, they just glaze over with joy. It's, it's incredible. And on top of that, Knowing that it's all for God, like, just amplifies the fun. Don't be scared. Don't worry, you know. Don't let the anxiety eat you up. Um, there's nothing to be scared about. You're in His hands, you know. He's the one who calls you to do this. So just trust Him. If He calls you, answer. You know, um, we can never outdo God in generosity. So uh, take the next step just like Peter did on the water. And you'll be surprised to see what would happen.